So we've heard about uh, the plan forward for REACH 2025, but what we're going to do now is go back in time slightly to the beginning of REACH, a man who kind of put it all together when it all started. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ambassador Karim Kawai. Your Majesty, Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, dear guests. Salah Din Abu Sheikh, a 19-year-old Jordanian student at the Jubilee School, got a planet named after him by NASA. Ayat Amr, a 22-year-old graduate of Jordanian public schools and a senior at the Hashemite University, won a Microsoft Award and earned a scholarship for a term at Stanford University. Uh, please join me in recognizing the young Jordanian Salah, who is with us today, who give us hope and inspiration. Your Majesty, you summoned us in the summer of 1999, when the challenge back then and remains creating meaningful jobs for young educated Jordanians. As a nascent group, you generously embraced the ICT sector and the entrepreneurs who build it. You insisted that we present an action plan, which resulted in REACH, a royal initiative that drew from your guidance. It placed Jordan on the global technology map. Back in 2000, REACH laid the groundwork for establishing the Ministry of ICT, the Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, liberalizing the sector, attracting foreign investments, and ushering the way for healthy competition. REACH created Intaj as the business association of the ICT industry, and Jordanian companies have led the region in innovation and creativity. The tremendous advancement was not without setbacks. Your Majesty challenged us again to regroup and present a new action plan to achieve a broader vision for our nation. Today, I'm honored on behalf of the 866 professionals who contributed to this effort to present REACH 2025. Our vision is to have a digital economy that empowers people, sectors, and businesses to raise productivity and ensure growth and prosperity, creating a highly attractive business destination for investments and international partnerships. This is about creating a transformation across the economy through digitization of early adopters in health, energy, clean tech, education, finance, transport, communications, and security. We have drawn on other countries' experiences who have embarked on similar evolutions. Their numbers reflected a significant growth in revenues economic acceleration and job creation. Our first three-year action plan focuses on helping businesses leapfrog into the future. Jordanian ICT companies are well suited through international partnerships to provide the solutions for this transformation. The Jordanian government will be digital by default. Her Excellency Majdshweke has already launched over 100 digital services and many more to come. A major driver is the focus on startups that will create those jobs. Entrepreneurship is at the heart of it, thanks to organizations such as Oasis 500, iPark, The Tank, Zinc, Big, and Endeavor are just examples of incubators and accelerators that have contributed to the vibrant culture and thriving ecosystem. We pride ourselves with our talented workforce that built this industry. Still, we need to invest further in our human capital to ensure that this generation has the skill sets to meet the demand of employers of the 21st century. The focus on increasing the role that women play in this industry and our society will reflect positively on economic growth and will be a progressive contribution to Jordan's prosperity. As always, the government has already adopted many of those recommendations that were championed by the Economic Policy Council. 
If the action plan gets implemented by the private and public sector, we project by 2025 that GDP growth could see an additional acceleration of 4%. Our digital economy sector's revenue could increase by up to 30%, adding up to 150,000 jobs and establishing as many as 7,000 new businesses in the digital economy. This effort would not have been possible without the guidance from the Royal Hashemite Court, the Ministry of ICT, the ICT Advisory Council, INTAJ, and the financial support of USAID through Jordan Competitiveness Program and the technical work carried out by the Danish Technological Institute. The future of Jordan depends on young people like Salah and Ayat, who will either become entrepreneurs, launching their own startups, or joining the many thriving Jordanian enterprises and contributing to their success. Finally, this is much more than an ICT sector plan. It is a national vision that entails the collaboration of all to catch up with the future that we belong to. Today, we present to Your Majesty REACH 2025. This is a bold initiative that will transform Jordan into a digital economy. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Kawa. Again, with some, some important words indeed, uh, indeed. A vision for the future, a collaboration together. Not just an IT, ICT idea put together, but, but certainly a nationwide idea to move forward. And wouldn't it be great in 2025, uh, at maybe a conference just like this, to look back at some of the words we've just heard at this opening ceremony? Ladies and gentlemen, we're kind of coming to a close of this opening ceremony this morning. So I'd like to say to, uh, to your majesty, thank you so much for joining us. It's, so, it's great to have you with us and, and your continual support for the, uh, the event and the concept. Thank you so much.